Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about nutrition for wound healing, specifically calories. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. This video is made for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. So eating well during the wound healing process plays a vital role in wound healing, okay? So this helps heal faster and fight off any infections, okay? So vital nutrients that are needed is protein, calories, fluid, vitamin A, C, and zinc. But specifically today, we're going to be talking about calories, so good nutritional status is essential for wound healing, okay, um, to take place. Ignoring a person's uh, nutritional status, it can compromise their ability to heal and prolong stages of wound healing. And if we stay in certain stages for too long, they can actually get stuck there, okay? We want a nice, smooth progression through the wound healing stages. So calorie uh, deficit has been demonstrated to contribute to, to weight loss and skin breakdown, okay? It is suggested that men with wounds eat um, 2,080 calories of nutrient-dense food daily, and women eat uh, 1,760. So all patients, no matter their size, should be screened for poor intake and unplanned weight loss before malnutrition can progress. So when I talk about nutrient dense foods, yes, we can get tons and tons of calories from just going and eating a Big Mac at McDonald's or just eating like junky foods. We need to make sure that we are eating nutrient dense food. So what is nutrient dense food? Nutrient dense food contains a lower amount of calories by weight but a higher number of essential vitamins, minerals, fibers, lean protein, and other beneficial. So for example, um, this includes fresh fruits and vegetables, um, beans, legumes, uh, low fat milk or yogurt, whole wheat pasta or rice, um, skinless chicken. The, the list goes on of the food pyramid really is what we're coming back to is the food pyramid and eating the foods that we should always actually be eating instead of um, all the processed foods that are available to us today. So this just kind of gives you a visual of nutrient dense foods. So we have lower amount of calories and a higher amount of nutrients. Okay. So we want those nutrients to feed our body and this will help the wound healing process. So how does calories help with wound healing? So wound healing is an energy demanding process, okay? It takes a lot of body energy to heal a wound, okay? Meaning that your body needs more calories to properly repair and rebuild damaged, damaged tissue. Okay, for more serious wounds, okay, so these are like your chronic wounds or um, ones that take a little bit longer. So your pressure ulcers, your burns, your deep lacerations, your body gets into um, where its metabolism is increased and it burns more calories, okay? You might need up to 50% more calories, for your body to actually be able to heal. So it's very, very important that we increase uh, calories to allow proper wound healing, okay? And this may put you in a calorie surplus to meet additional demands um, from your wound, uh, from, sorry, <laughs> additional demands from your body and prevent weight loss which is associated with delayed wound healing. So if somebody starts losing weight to heal their wound, it is going to delay wound healing, okay? And it also weakens the immune response. Whenever we have a wound, it's an opening in our skin barrier 
this is at risk of infection. And if we have a weakened immune system, we could have a cascade of events and then that wound doesn't want to heal, then we're treating infection, okay? So this is all the reasons why we need a calorie surplus while healing um, these difficult wounds. So what you're going to try for is consider trying um, to get six or more small meals and snacks per day, okay? To meet your daily in um, increase in needs. You also want to eat protein at each meal or snack, okay? You want calories made up of nutrient-dense food, good quality food. Um, they do say um, it's about 14 to 18 calories per pound. Um, actually, I think it's kilogram, one second. No, so it, it is uh, 14 to 18 calories per pound. I uh, just wanted to make sure of that because um, it is about 2,000 for males and 1,700 for females. So common food sources are meat, vegetables, fruits, dairy, nuts, and seeds. Okay, so your food pyramid. Now, if you have medical conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, make sure that you're talking with your dietitian or doctor. Um, to make sure that you're picking the right food choices uh, for your condition, okay? So I, I have added a few tips here to get more nutrient dense foods inside of you. So you're gonna eat a variety of fruits and vegetables, choose whole grain, um, select healthy sources of protein. So fish, seafood, low fat, or uh, non-fat dairy, lean cuts of meat. You're going to limit your red meat and processed meats, okay? They have a lot of sodiums, added sugars, uh, and alcohol in them. Um, switch from white rice to brown rice. Replace sugary drinks with water, unsweetened tea, or coffee. Um, you can always switch out, um, say, like for when you put sour cream and chili, um, or really it's a replacement for anything, but you can use non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, when adding toppings to pizzas, tacos, sandwiches, try to add more vegetables in there instead of meat and cheese. Um, snack on crunchy vegetables and a handful of nuts instead of chips. Um, to satisfy a sweet tooth, grab a piece of fruit instead of uh, candy or chocolate or cookies. So I hope this gave you a better idea of the calories that you need and why they are so important during the wound healing process. Now, if you're looking for a specific plan um, that you can follow and uh, foods with yes and no list, um, feel free to, um, I'll put a link up above and in the description. Um, and, and you can get a whole, um, Whole program to follow um, that will help you make better choices um, for your wound healing. Um, so the link up above is to book a Zoom um, and then we can go into further detail about that, okay? Um, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Um, hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.